experience. Uh, we were the first to introduce uh, HD voice, and still now we are one of the only ones to offer HD voice. I invite you, I don't know if you have experienced that by yourself, but if you have an iPhone 5 or if you have a Samsung Galaxy S2, S3, and you're one on one customers and you talk to each other, you will see the quality is much, much better on the voice quality than anything else. So uh, we have introduced that already uh, almost two years ago. Uh, since we launched, we now have more than 15 LTE devices, so it took some time to have the level of device, but now we have 15, so you have the iPhone 5, the Samsung Galaxy S3, S2, and, um, and so on. So a lot of popular good device. The initial device uh, were not as performant, like there was battery life issue and all, but we went through all of this and now the technology is very, very mature. Uh, we were the, um, also, uh, our network at this point is covering 95% of the population, so we have extended the coverage. We launched the network, we had about 90% of the population. We have extended, uh, added several LTE sites. Uh, already today, we have more than 20% of the data that is being carried over the 4G LTE network. So uh, this is great because this is exactly why we brought the LTE network to improve the customer experience, but also to manage our 3G network capacity. Our 3G network, you have potentially some of you is still using the 3G network now, 3G service. The, three, the, the reason why all, all operators in the world are bringing 4G LTE is to relieve the capacity on the 3G network. All 3G network in the world are now at capacity. So the experience is much better on 4G LTE because this is a new spectrum with a lot of capacity. And um, so, and we have launched uh, LTE roaming. We were also the first one in the world to launch LTE roaming with SK Telecom back in uh, July this year. And we have some more roaming agreement coming now. But what I want to show here is that CSL and 110 has been leading the, um, the industry. Uh, not only in Hong Kong, but worldwide. And we are participating to all the worldwide forum, industry forum, and working on the standard development to, to bring those new technologies. About uh, improvement to the 4G uh, LTE network. So as you know, I think you, you, you may know at this point because we have repeated many times, we have, since uh, we launched, we deploy a strategy of a dual band LTE network in the band 1800 megahertz and 2600 megahertz. So we are deploying sites in those two frequency bands. We are leveraging uh, 1010 advantage that we have more LTE spectrum than any others in Hong Kong. Uh, we have a very uh, privileged situation in terms of spectrum and the radio spectrum is what enables you to offer uh, bigger speed and more, more capacity. What you see on this graph is that, um, just to give you an idea of the experience today with LTE, and now it's improving, and we are continuously adding more cell sites. So today's experience, 45 to 50% of the time, if you have a 4G LTE uh, service or device, you will be between the 3G and the 4G network. And that's normal. We have, from the beginning, said we have, this is a 4G, DC HSPA network, so we have a, a 3G advanced network and a 4G and it works together transparently. We can achieve very high speed on the 3G network as well, but as the capacity, the demand for capacity, the traffic is increasing, we need to offload to 4G. So what you can see now, if you look at your phone, or your handset, you will see that sometimes you're in 3G, sometimes you're in 4G, and that's completely that's by design. This is the way it should work, and this is the way to optimize the, uh, the experience. Uh, since uh, July 2012, um, mid middle of last year, it was about 45% chance to be on LTE. At this point now, at the end of December 2012, it was already 60% chance. And we are continuing now, or 60%, uh, not chance, but 60% of the time that you are using the phone, you will be on the 4G LTE network across Hong Kong. And now, by the end of April, uh, around April 2013, it should be about 90%, which means that the 4G coverage would be about 90% of the 3G coverage. The 3G network always has a bit more coverage because the frequency band we use for 3G goes down to 900 meg uh, coverage. So the radio coverage at 900 meg, the penetration is much better. So the 3G network will always continue to coexist with the 4G network and that's normal. So when you go in a very remote area or deep indoor in the escalator or whatever, you can still move to the 3G network and have a, a great experience. So 
what it does when we go to uh, in the next uh, few months and reach 90% of the LTE uh, uh, of the time that you will be spending on LTE, well, the user experience will also improve. The average speed and throughput that you will experience will be uh, much, uh, much wider all the time. So, to summarize the 4G LTE enhancement, uh, we have double the overall network capacity in the high traffic, so which means that we have more than double the number of radio sites, transmitter sites with LTE. We have do uh, also, we have deployed, most of those sites are now deployed in the frequency band 1800 megahertz, so this is a lower frequency band than 2600. Our initial deployment was mostly at 2600, now our deployment is mostly at 1800 megahertz, and 1800 megahertz just have better penetration inside building. This is why here, if some of you have the iPhone 5, uh, you will see it's working very well. Our iPhone 5 is very special that it works only in 1800. It doesn't work in 2600. All the other phone works in both bands. But you can see here we have a good service for the iPhone 5 at 1800 because of 1800 is, is better in building. Uh, in terms of population coverage, you know, I may confuse people, but 95% of the LTE customers or the people with an LTE device or customers with the LTE device have access to LTE. It doesn't mean that you're in LTE all the time, but you have access to the LTE service and 3G LTE depending on, on where you are. Uh, also, just to mention one thing, uh, uh, another uh, phenomenon also, also, when you make a voice call today on the 4G network, you always move to 3G. The voice call happens on 3G, and that's completely normal. I'm just giving some more details here because we often receive feedback from customers telling us, well, I, I bought the 4G service and I'm on 3G. That's by design. So we're trying to make sure that people understand being on 3G is completely normal. And uh, 3G has a very, very high speed as long as it's uh, not congested and the capacity is well, well managed. Um, so our target as we expand the coverage will be that the, the LTE coverage will be about 90% of the 3G coverage by uh, April 2013. And then um, another very important, uh, I think you know most of you, that the 4G LTE coverage is now in the MTR and will be, uh, by the end of January 2013, all the urban MTR station uh, will be completed. And the MTR is where, uh, well, the density of customers that we have in the MTR is uh, nowhere in the world you would see so many people. It's a very, very stress for the radio network. Um, and uh, this is why with LTE now, the LTE customers can experience uh, very, very high speed. Uh, we have done several testing and it's uh, between 10 to 30 megabits per second. This is the type of expectation that you can get in the MTR now with the 4G device. You should have with the, um, the MTR go like this, aligned with the operator. All the operators, because the MTR is directing the rollout of LTE, so everyone has to be ready at the same time. So it's equivalent, but yeah, this is a great experience and a big difference. Our customers are uh, very happy about this. Now I wanted to tell you one thing. As uh, again, I talked about we our strategy uh, has been different, uh, from, or, or at least we have been uh, leading the strategy of developing uh, the network at 1800 and 2600. Now many other operators are also doing the same thing. We're just a little bit more advanced in the sense that we have uh, uh, deployed 1800 and 2600 everywhere to all our, of our sites, or well, by April. Uh, so what it does, because if you if you look at uh, publicly uh, uh, available information, if you go on the OFCA, uh, the regulator sites, you will see um, 110 CSL uh, has more spectrum, LTE spectrum, than any others. What it translates to, so if you imagine in the middle, this is 110 highway, and those are the other highways. More spectrum trans, uh, translate into a larger highway. So you can accommodate in the MTR, in, uh, in places where it's very, very uh, busy with traffic, you can just accommodate more users with high speed. And, um, and this is really spectrum that can allow you to do this. Now I want to uh, use the opportunity to explain something that uh, I know uh, some of you and some, some um, uh, of our customers also uh, misunderstand sometimes uh, how to uh, to read or how to interpret the, um, the, the the experience. What is a good customer experience? We are very, very close to our customers 
and what is needed in terms of uh, services that they use. So those are typical services here and the requirement in terms of bandwidth. Uh, most people will use messaging, <coughs> WhatsApp, email, web browsing, video surveillance, video conferencing. All those services are not demanding at all. They, are, they ask up to one megabit per second. Then you go to the more demanding services, DVD video quality, HD video when you watch on a tablet. You require no more than five megabit per second. So what I'm trying to explain here, the LTE uh, user experience is great because LTE easily can give you five megabit per second. The maximum speed that sometimes some, um, some customers and some magazines and reporters as well uh, perform some testing and are looking at the maximum speed, 30 megabit, 40 megabit, 50 megabit, this is not an indicator of experience and uh, of quality because we can by design limit the speed so that more customer can enjoy the five megabit per second. So this is a design and uh, so I have seen some rating from magazines and uh, saying which one has 33 versus 30, 30 megabit per second. This is equal. It means that both are very good because they exceed five megabit per second. So this is very important. What makes the difference in terms of quality of service is the stability. How often or how much of the coverage in Hong Kong and territory, how much of the time can you get more than five megabit per second? This is the extent of your LTE coverage. And for that, we do that. We do benchmarking on a regular basis. And for that, we have specialized team of people that goes and spend weeks of time and make thousands and thousands of calls and go everywhere. And this is how you can really measure the quality. And for us to make sure we will remain the, um, the leading operator, we make sure we are deploying more sites and we are deploying more coverage everywhere in building, outdoor, and in both frequencies, 1800 and 2600. So again, I, I don't know uh, if some of you are doing those type of testing, but please, uh, there is some application on some phones, for example, on Android, on iPhone, when they look at the quality, well, there's a speed test that is a conventional one, but there is some other that are really looking at service quality, and they just tell you, well, this is great, good, not so good, and to be good, uh, very, very good, extremely good, if you achieve more than five megabit per second. Uh, so not only we are improving the 4G LTE uh, network, we are also working on 3G. Some customers, for sure, our existing customers still have the, the 3G uh, device only, and uh, the, the, the capacity and the traffic is still increasing on the 3G network because every existing customers, although all of our units now we sell only basically 4G LTE, but our existing customers are consuming more and more uh, with the new services like the cloud service or other services. So we have increased the 3G capacity. In the last six months, we have increased the 3G capacity by 200%. We have doubled the 3G capacity. And I'm sure, so we had, uh, to be honest, we need to, to, to say it, in the last uh, four months, uh, we were stretched by the traffic. The traffic has exceeded our capacity to, uh, to, 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 to handle the traffic. The traffic has grown by a factor of more than 200%. Uh, some of it is because of uh, the great success we had last year in attracting customers, and it came faster than what we predicted. So recently, in the last uh, six months, we have accelerated all our growth plan, and this is now completed since the end of December, and now we have a great network again, back to what it was um, in uh, the previous year and what our customers have been used to from uh, 1010. So what we have done, the voice, Quality has increased substantially in the last six months. Uh, we 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 <coughs> we express the uh, quality on call on, on call quality by the call drops. So you should not have the call drops when you're making a phone call, but it happens in the radio environment. So we have reduced by 30% the call drops in the last six months. We have increased the 3G uh, data speed substantially. Uh, we have reduced the number of congested sites. And we are continuously, each time there is a congested site, we are con continuously monitoring. It's not the end of it. We continuously upgrade and extend the capacity of our network. What we have completed in December is a very intensive and aggressive uh, optimization and uh, upgrade of the network. Now we will continue as required to increase the capacity. And here it shows uh, also where the, uh, the 
the improvement on the 4G LTE network, all the urban MTR lines, most of them already completed, but they will be all completed by the end of January. So just to show the detail of what I was saying before. And in closing, we are very, very close to the customer experience. Uh, we are monitoring the customer satisfaction. The customer satisfaction is one of our key focus for sure. Um, we have doubled the number of LTE sites in the last uh, six months, and we have increased the population coverage to 95%. The MTR, which uh, uh, is very, very critical in Hong Kong for all our customers, has been is almost complete and will be done by the end of January 2013. So I think we are starting the year 2013 with the best network as we used to have, the best quality that uh, we can uh, we can achieve. It will continuously improve with uh, the 4G rollout, which is not completed yet. Like I said, it was close to 50, 60 percent, 60 percent now. It will reach 90 percent by April. So you will continue to see uh, increase in the speed and uh, the performance will continue to to improve as we deploy this new uh, this new technology.